Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy Holidays to everybody. Hope you have a great day. In this video, you guys are in for quite a treat. I've got some footage from the east coast of some incredible lights that were noticed in the nighttime sky. One video sent in by, by Purple Lotus, and I've got a, another video sent in from the Baltimore area of what looks like a fleet of unknown objects in the nighttime sky. These are definitely sky phenomena by definition as they are unexplained. Unlike these, you're about to see here a collection of sightings of the Starlink satellite system going across the United States. Started out over in Golden Valley, Arizona, the McKay's sent in this video when they spotted the Starlink cruising through the nighttime sky on December the 3rd. I just wanted to show you guys the, the Starlink videos that were sent in because the videos you're about to see from the East Coast don't look anything like the, the Starlink satellite system. So just to rule out that what we're about to see are not the Starlink satellites. Here's a still image from the same location in Golden Valley. Now we're going to Scottsdale, Arizona. Video footage sent in by Jake of the Starlink. This is a real clear video of the long satellite train moving across the night sky. I'm going to step it forward just a little bit so we can see all of these sightings. Donna and Eddie out of Mesa, Arizona. Mora, New Mexico. Randy also noticed the Starlink satellite train on that night. Albuquerque, New Mexico. The sender was unknown here, but they too saw the satellite train going across the night sky. Teresa and Hiram out of Wake Forest, North Carolina. It took less than 30 minutes to travel from out here above Arizona to above North Carolina. So what you're about to see here in these upcoming videos are definitely not the Starlink satellite train. I also want to share some unique photos that were sent in here recently. Photos here by Becky S. from right out here in Gilbert, Arizona. Notice the perfectly square shape up in the sky. I don't know how that cloud got perfectly square or some sort of a rectangle angle in the daytime sky in an otherwise clear blue sky but it did photo here sent in by cindy m out of south bend indiana also taken in the daytime sky this was outside this was not taken from inside behind a, a window or inside of a car this photo was taken outdoors and you can also see what looks like a square rectangle shape up in the sky and it looks very similar to what Becky noticed out here in Arizona. So the one on the left is from South Bend, Indiana. The one over here on the right is from Gilbert, Arizona. Again, don't know what this is. Don't claim to know. Simply too good not to share. Great observations, guys, and keep the photos coming. I want to take you guys now out to the East Coast. This video footage was taken by Purple Lotus, who started noticing these objects in the sky back in August and have seen these things in the sky ever since August clear up into December off and on not every single night but every once in a while they will appear and she steps outside and records them they don't appear to be Chinese lanterns I've seen several Chinese lanterns over the years and these are behaving a little bit differently they're kind of stationary you can tell they're not being influenced by the the wind if there's any wind at all but typically Chinese lanterns will drift in an upward motion they're easily identifiable they're not necessarily a sky phenomena they would be considered a sky phenomenon they're an identifiable object in the sky these here in my humble opinion are not identifiable and they are very taken back by these objects too whenever they see them they are mystified at their presence they say these things are unlike anything that they've ever seen and most of us have seen if you're a sky watcher you've seen chinese lanterns before she said there was a tail coming off the back side of these things that looked like a reddish orange tail moving through the sky it looked like a, a slow moving comet i don't know the exact location i'm waiting to hear back from purple lotus all i know it was somewhere out east and if i'm not mistaken these were filmed in the same area as the other video you're about to see in the baltimore maryland area you can see up here let me pause it real quick see how it kind of looks like it's got an extended tail coming off of the back that's what she was saying it looked like a a comet a small comet slowly moving through the nighttime sky and there's another one that appeared just randomly out of nowhere 
very mysterious sequence of events here and this is one of multiple videos and see some there in the background looks like some other ones came in from also out of nowhere in the field of view as she was filming this one right here doesn't appear to be an airplane doesn't appear to be a helicopter some sort of a unusual object and there were multiple ones in this video in the nighttime sky and there it disappeared behind the tree line that was video number one now we're going to go to video number two you're also going to see a bright flashing light down here at the base of this big power line tower and then you're going to see these objects again moving through the nighttime sky but pay attention to that bright flashing light normally if there's lights on these towers they're at the top not the bottom so i don't know what that is don't know what this one is either but it looks just like the object that we saw in video number one this was a few weeks later i think this was filmed in november all i know is these are from the last few months they're they're recently like the last half of 2021 this bright light down there at the bottom is very mysterious as well now you, you've got this one here in the center watch another one here appear behind that one see it just appeared out of nowhere if it were a chinese lantern you'd see it slowly drifting up from the ground that thing just appeared out of thin air. So you've got that one, this one here that just reappeared behind that pole. You've got this very bright flashing light that almost appears to be a different color in the center of the field of view at the bottom of that very tall tower. Normally, if they're aviation lights, they're at the top of the tower. So airplanes can see that there's a tall tower over there, not at the bottom. But anyway, two more of these bright reddish orange objects in the nighttime sky. And there's a third over here on the right. Watch this. You're going to see one low to the ground and it seems to be maintaining its same position. Again, if it were a Chinese lantern, it would have already drifted up into the sky. These are maintaining the, the same altitude, moving very, very slowly. At times, they look like they're moving backwards. Let me pause it real quick. See this one right here? I zoom in on it. It's too large to be a Chinese lantern. Way too big, in my opinion, and that's just sitting there. The other one appeared back here out of nowhere. This one's getting ready to go behind that, that tall tree. This one down here just appears to be hovering above the ground, maybe 10 or 15 feet above the ground. This one here is up maybe 30, 40 feet above the surface of the ground. And then that's where the video ended. And she said she's been seeing these things off and on in the nighttime sky since August of 2021. Now I want to take you guys to Maryland. The video was sent in by Tanisha. I'm calling this a fleet of UFOs in the in the nighttime sky because by definition this is sky phenomena it's unidentifiable objects in the nighttime sky and there's more than one in fact there's more than three i think there's nine total that you're going to see moving across the sky and then you'll see them stop on a dime check this out good video footage by tanisha Notice how they stopped right there. Now they're moving in a different direction.
These witnesses were very mystified at what they were looking at in the nighttime sky. Here's a few segments of the original video that I enhanced. I slowed down, zoom in. They all appear to be the same color, primarily red. Some of them look like they were white, maybe. It's difficult to tell behind that bright light there. But they were very mystified at what they were looking at because they were moving at a pretty good rate of speed and then all of a sudden just stopped in the sky hovered in the same location and then some of them started moving backwards and in different directions they were all moving in unison at the beginning of the video at a pretty good pace and then just stopped and that's what they're doing right now they're just sitting there in the same location and that's what got their attention when they stopped they're like you know how did they do that you know they knew they were more than than just some sort of a lantern or some sort of a, a gimmick these were some sort of unidentifiable lights once again in the nighttime sky and people are sending in videos almost on a daily basis now of some sort of unknown object sometimes in the daytime sky a lot of times in the nighttime sky from various locations all around the world you know it's a much different time we live in now it wasn't like it was 60 years ago if you saw something in the nighttime sky or the daytime sky and you wanted to tell somebody about it you didn't have a high definition recording of it it was simply word of mouth and most people didn't believe you you know if you saw something in the sky nowadays everybody's carrying around a recording device so when they see something in the sky Nine out of ten people have documentation of what they're seeing in the skies. May not be able to identify it, but it is showing us just how mysterious our skies are above planet Earth. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.